Hello class, so today we're going to learn how to graph a linear function using Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So the first thing, if you have the Google browser, the easiest way is to load that browser and then over on the right hand side, click on the Google Apps button and scroll down until you see Google Sheets. The other way is a search on whatever browser you're using for Google Sheets. So let's click on Google Sheets. It'll take us to the new spreadsheets. Go ahead and start a new spreadsheet. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're trying to graph these linear functions um, and when using Google Sheets, we need to have it in the form of y equals mx plus b, right? The slope intercept form of a line. So let's say we have the equation, you know, y equals you know 3x minus 2. So I want to put that in cell one. Then what we need to do is create two columns, one for your x variables and one for your y variables. Now what this will do, we need to load up the x values in our domain of our function. For this one here, our domain is all the real numbers. So we can go ahead and put in any values of x that we want. But let's be reasonable. Let's go, the typical graphing one is from minus 10 to 10. So we put in minus 10, minus nine. And then if you select both those cells and grab the little rectangle at the bottom of the right cell, and drag it down, it will load up the rest of the values. Now for y, let's go ahead and type in equals, and we're gonna create a formula that creates three times the x value minus two. So it'd be equal to three times, then click on that cell to the left, then minus two. Now when we hit enter, Google Sheets is gonna say, hey, or do you wanna do this for the entire column? And yes, we do. We want to hit Control Enter. So hit Control Enter and it fills them up. Next thing we want to do is click on the X column over here, right? And select the entire chart of values. Go to Insert and Chart. Now it's gonna give us an option here. It's gonna assume that we wanted to make an X, Y line chart. And you'll see we're here on the right on the setup that says line chart. We could also have chosen a scatter chart which just plots the points, but you can see it much better with the line chart. Now we can go ahead and we can get into the formatting. You can change the title, you can change the axes, you can change the values, the, the titles on the left and right and you can make this chart bigger, smaller, however you want to do it. You can also copy the chart to put it in into another PowerPoint as needed. And that's the basics. So to graph a linear function, first set the function in terms of y equals mx plus b, make two columns, one for your x, one for your y, put in the appropriate x values, that will change depending on the function, calculate the y values, select the entire cells of the chart, Go to insert, chart, and line chart. Okay, I hope this helps. Any questions, please ask. All right, let's have a great day.